Hey coffee and espresso lovers, Mark here from Whole Latte Love and I have Nick with me today and Nick we're going to take a look at some Gaja automatic bean to cup machines, right? Mm -hmm. Super autos, that's right. So these machines, they all, we're going to go through them and kind of find out what the differences are here, why you might want to pick one over the other and mm -hmm. just start off and tell us, I mean these things are tremendous values compared to some oh, other yeah. manufacturers, so, right? To get something like this that's been made in Italy and they're all made in Italy. Uh, made in Italy by a company like Gaja that's been making machines since like 1940. Mm -hmm. uh, it's incredible that you can find a machine at this price, uh, at this quality. So, so we're going to go through the different models. Here we have a real, uh, an incredible value mm -hmm. entry level. We have a couple that are espresso focused, and then uh, now all the machines can do espresso. All these can do espresso. They've all got the same kind of brew group on the inside, but uh, yeah, some more specialized toward espresso and. A few others more specialized towards longer coffee drinks. And if you like the lattes and cappuccinos and milk-based drinks, they can all do that too. All it's just a question that. of what features you're Which looking for. Which one fits your uh, kind of lifestyle best. So. Okay. All right. So just to, we'll just go through. If you're not familiar with bean to cup machines, maybe you're a Keurig user or something, you know, when you grind beans fresh, you get a much better cup of coffee, right? Better coffee, better crema. You got more of that CO2 still fresh in there, so. And also the cost per cup, we're talking, you know, you're going to use fresh whole beans. So all these mm -hmm. machines use the fresh whole beans. Um, they are all going to have a bean hopper. And when you're using the fresh whole beans, you know, if like so uh, average coffee is maybe $20 a kilogram. Yeah, 20, 25 if you're spending a little bit more, but huge variety too when and, you're buying whole beans instead of those capsules. So. Right, and compared to something like that where the Keurig, you might be paying 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 oh, cents yeah. a capsule. The same amount of coffee in here at $20 a kilogram is 10, 20 cents. Yeah, about 20, 20 cents. cents a shot. So, so better coffee, much lower cost in the long run. So let's go through them. Got the mm -hmm. Gaja Brera here, yep. right? This is the entry That's level. the entry point in our catalog to Gaja's super automatic machines. So okay. super compact, some nice convenient features like a cup tray up top. You've got mm -hmm. a frothing one for tea and milk. And then you've also just got like the nice stainless kind of veneer on the front there that's not usually available on machines at this price point. So on this machine, it's got the bean hoppers up here. Mm -hmm. um, you have an adjustable grind. All the machines have adjustable grind. All the machines yep. also have the bypass doser. So if you do want to use a fresh or a pre-ground pre coffee, coffee. like a decaf, to that's decaf. a great accessory to have for you that. You can do that. So. And we see we have the frothing wand on a couple of these machines. Mm -hmm. A couple don't, but they have another way of doing it. So if you want the milk-based drinks, you want the cappuccino, the latte, the macchiatos, you'd froth here. Mm -hmm. And these machines also have, all have an auto frothing wands, the ones that have wands. So yeah, it's called it a Panarello easy. wand. It's got a little hole that intakes air and injects it into the milk. So if you don't have a lot of experience with frothing milk, that really simplifies the process for you. And you can get some pretty close results to latte quality foam if you really practice and kind of get that nuance in there. So but you can get a really good foam, no experience required. Stick it right, right? in there. Stick it in. Milk's frothed. So, so on this machine, and we'll go through all the features mm -hmm. on the other ones, you have two coffee sizes. Yep, you've got kind of for an espresso or a longer coffee, mm -hmm. three strength settings, and that's also with that little uh, bean and scoop icon, yeah. how you can right switch here. to the bypass doser as well. And a nice knob on the front that lets you switch between steam mode and then hot water dispensing. So there's a little tea cup there. And so all and all the machines can do that as well. All of them can do that exactly. They all dispense can do hot water. And I'm hot showing water. two two cups right here, mm -hmm. um, smaller. These are espresso cups. Yeah. Um, but the point being is that on any of these machines, you can brew two cups at the same time of mm -hmm. a coffee with or the split an espresso. Spouts, exactly. With the split spouts, they all have that. So one thing to keep in mind when you're choosing a machine is, you know, the size of cup you're going to use. So I have the espresso cups here, but we can go to a Something larger like a cup. like a cappuccino cup, exactly. Um, here and even a little bit larger. We're going to take a look at a machine down the road mm -hmm. that's going to work with my travel mug because I like the coffee to go. So that's, that's the Brera. Really, honestly, the best value. Oh, and something, you know, we didn't mention is they, all these machines, what you're really going after is features, right? Because mm -hmm. they all use the same process to brew the espresso or the coffee, yep. right? So there's the grinder, which is right on the top of the machine. Grinds the beans down into what's called a brew group, where the coffee is then compact into a puck, like you'd see in a portafilter on an espresso machine. And then the pump pushes the water through, which is what extracts the espresso. Okay. Same process on all of these machines. Okay, so next up we have two Velascas, and we'll get to these two Anima models here. Mm -hmm. And there's some similarities and differences. Similarities and then some pretty... Uh, 
you know, important differences if you drink one type of drink versus another. But the Velasquez are really great for espresso brewing specifically. Mm -hmm. So you've got a larger hopper up top there. So you've got more beans, which means you can dose larger shots without having to refill that as often. That's and true. then there's actually 10 grinder settings too. So it's flat ceramic disc grinding. Mm -hmm. And then you've got 10 settings. So once you're actually getting your coffee in there for the first time, you can dial in a lot more precisely to where you'd really want that to be. So the Velasquez, if you're more of an espresso-focused drinker, mm -hmm. you can still make a long coffee you on these. You can still do long coffee just like with the Brera, mm -hmm. but really where it shines is with those espressos. Okay. All right. And on here, again, we have you know the two programmable coffee yep. sizes. So, so it's push and hold programming. You just press down the icon. It'll let you know that it's in memory mode, and then once you've dispensed as much coffee as you want, you push it again, and it's remembering that for the next time. And then if I wanted two, I just press, it press twice. the button twice, and it can make two espressos, two coffees at the same It'll time. It'll grind and brew one right after the other. And this so has the, uh, the Panarello wand, wand, wand here. So, so when we go to the Velasca Prestige, mm -hmm. and we'll look at the Anima Prestige in a minute. got the auto same frothing uh, milk carafe there. So, so this, you pull it out of the fridge, you put it on the yep. machine. Just uh, would pull out. And then open that arm, lock it right in. And this is what we consider a one-touch machine, right? Mm -hmm. So you can press one button, put your cup down, and you can get a... The milk drink from start to finish without moving the cup again. Without so doing anything else. And, that, and the amount of milk, that's fully programmable too. Mm -hmm. uh, press and hold again. and Press and hold, and so that would be with the cappuccino button right there. Okay. Okay, and then there's a couple other options on this one, right, that yeah. we're not going to find, like the pre-infusion. Let's talk about yeah, that. Yeah, so the Velasca Prestige is unique among all these machines because it has programmable pre-infusion, so you can turn it off completely. Mm -hmm. There's just the normal kind of pre-soak, and then there's extra where you actually are soaking the coffee a little bit longer prior to brewing, just for a little bit more of a kind of rich extraction. Um, this machine, too, just has a little bit more streamlined navigation with more buttons. So there's a quick carafe clean button right here, your special drinks button to get into the baby cappuccino and the hot water, um, and then just the regular menu button as well. And with that quick craft clean, you can just press that button and mm -hmm. then you can take the craft off the take machine. Take it off, put it right in the refrigerator. And you're ready to go it for the next It runs a time. little bit of water through here. It doesn't actually get into the milk, just to clean out all the milk circuit. So. And then also up top here, so you got the larger bean hopper mm -hmm. on this, um, you also have a place where you get some yeah, passive heating tray, of cups, exactly. right? So, uh, yeah, like you said, passive heating. So it's the temperature of the boiler just kind of heating everything up. If you leave the standby a little bit longer on these, if you're not going to be using the machine for a bit, that'll give it some more time to get those cups hot. Definitely want to use heated cups when you're brewing so you have the best temperature for your coffee. Sure. And then the, the other difference I notice here between the regular Velasca and the Velasca Prestige is some more metal on this one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do have the stainless now on the front mm -hmm. and on the front spouts as well. And that's just nicely traced down the handle of the carafe too. Okay. Oh, and another nice thing with these machines. So the Brera and the Velasca's, right? Oh, the water and everything. Front loading, exactly. So front you pull loading, the so. drag box and the reservoir right out from the front, and then the bean hopper is just on the top. So if you don't have as much clearance under your cabinets and you just need a little bit more space, the only thing that you need to lift off is the hopper lid to refill the beans. Okay. Now let's go over to the animas because mm -hmm. these You've are. You've been waiting I, for this. <laughs> I've been waiting. I brought my to-go cup because I can't get a large cup of coffee to go or a large latte. Out of, out of these ones, unless mm -hmm. I use other cups. Yep. So, but, but I come over here and the thing I notice is, you know, the adjustable spouts here. And you've got a lot more clearance, so I Almost can get my large inches, coffee to yeah. go, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but as you mentioned over here, now we had front pull-out access yeah. on the Brera and the Velasquez. You've on got the animas. flip up on it, the Anima series. Okay, so uh, like over on this side is our water reservoir. Water reservoir on the left. Then you've no, got the go. hopper on the right with the bypass doser. It's got a little cutout right in the door, too, so you don't actually have to open the door to dose the coffee. And again, just like the Velasquez, we have one model that has mm -hmm. the auto-frothing Panarello auto -frothing on. Auto-frothing Panarello and then a uh, one-touch carafe on the Anima Prestige. So in this one, what I really like about the Anima here is if I want a latte to go, I've got plenty of room. You do. You just swing so, that arm right out, push the button, and you're good to go. Push my button, and I can have my latte to go. I really like leaving the house sometimes with a latte, mm -hmm. so that's going to work out well for me. Um, again, these also have the bypass doser, so you can do yeah, the decaps with that. Yeah, for the pre-ground. Um, something else, too, just a mm -hmm. quick mention, is that when you have the carafe removed, 
Each of the machines comes with a water spout that you can fit in that socket. Same with the Velasca mm -hmm. for dispensing hot water in addition to milk. And the machines that have the frothing wand, you get the hot water. The hot out water of comes right out of the wand, exactly. Okay, and let's just cover some other features. So mm -hmm. the Velasquez and the Anima all have five strength settings? They both have five strength settings, so it's six and a half grams up to eleven and a half grams dosed per shot. And if you're wondering, because I really I try to get people to give up the Keurigs and go to a uh, fresh ground You've holding coffee this, experience. Think, right? yeah. Yes, and your average Keurig capsule, guess how much coffee's in there? Seven grams, eight grams? Nine to, nine to ten. Okay. Nine to ten. Right. So, so it's the same amount of coffee uh, that you can get the same strength here that you can with something like mm -hmm. that. And of course, it's going to be so much better. Oh, well, yeah, with the espresso <laughs> pressure brewing and everything else. Yeah. So. Um, okay, so again, let's just kind of recap. So the extreme entry level, I mean, the best value. Yeah. And again, all these machines kind of, they use pretty much the same process. More or less, yeah. The yeah. Grind and brew. Right. Just a little bit different with the pre-infusion on the Velasca. So if you're looking for a real value, this thing pays for itself. If mm -hmm. you know, you're know you going out and buying coffee or doing a Keurig capsule kind of thing, better coffee, and you're going to save a lot of money in the long run. Mm -hmm. Then we move up to the Velasca's. We got the regular Velasca and the Prestige. So espresso focused? Yeah, espresso focused. Um, you know, still can make a variety of milk drinks. Can do those longer coffees, but really the espresso machine of choice from this range here. And then the Prestige model is the one with some more stainless on it and the one-touch milk drinks. Mm -hmm. And then the same sort of idea here with the Gaja Animas. Um, you have the model with the auto frothing wand. Um, and again, this is what appeals to me. You know, if you're more espresso focused, maybe the Velasquez. But if you like to leave with larger beverages. Yeah these two because you got a little more capacity a little here more as well. capacity for the water about six ounces and then more spent pucks too was it and 60 ounces of water in here? 60 so. ounces of water and 15 used coffee pucks okay so. okay well Nick thanks for lending your expertise <laughs> here really appreciate it my pleasure Mark. Um, again all the Gaja models are made in Italy you know a lot of, a lot of these machines are made in Romania or China yeah um, we, we really like the authenticity of oh, an Italian-made product. Guys is very proud of that, too. So. All right. If you have any questions on these machines, use the comments, or you can give us a call, too, and you can talk to somebody like Nick, who's been using these things for years and is an expert in them, help you find the right machine to fit your needs. Uh, but if you use comments, I'll be happy to answer your questions there as well. Um, I do appreciate you watching. Thanks again, Nick. And I do hope you'll come back for more of the best on everything coffee brought to you by Polate Love. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love.